Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be layering collage elements on our gel press mono printing plate. Well, sort of. Now today I'm using my 8x10 gel press plate, and what I mean by collage elements is we're not actually going to be taking little bits of paper and cutting and pasting them to create one piece of art. Actually, we're going to be creating one layer on our gel press plate, and we're going to be adding multiple images using black acrylic paint. Now, over the years, I've used a lot of different things to create texture on my mono printing plate. I've used magazine images, foam stamps, stencils, rubber stamps, you know, household items, anything and everything that I can think of to create texture. But I've never necessarily put, put it all together. And so that's kind of where this idea came from. I was creating this transfer uh, using a magazine image and I realized that there was still quite a bit of space left and I wanted to fill it up. Now, if you've never made a transfer with a magazine image, basically you're just adding a thin layer of black acrylic paint and then you're pressing your image onto your plate and just gently rubbing it. You don't want to press too hard because it can distort your image. And then you just pull it off and you should be left with the transfer on your plate. Now, as you can see, there were some images that didn't transfer um, the way I wanted them to, or they weren't uh, complete. And so I'm just taking a baby wipe and wipe, wiping away the parts that I don't want. Now, it's at this point that I start to realize that I, I want to continue to fill up the space. So here I'm just taking another magazine uh, image and I also decide to add some of my foam stamps and I had some of that black acrylic paint left over. And so I just decided to add some to a foam stamp and, and then just place it directly onto the plate. Next, I pick up some acrylic stamps and fill in the rest of the spaces. Now at this point, it really hits home the whole collage idea. It, it's the same thing as taking little bits of paper and cutting and pasting them onto a uh, substrate to create uh, one piece of art. I'm doing the same thing here except with black acrylic uh, paint and I'm using different elements to create the textures and I really love the way this came out. Uh, the only thing left to do is now add some color. Now I did want my focal to stand out a bit and so I just added this light chartreuse color and the rest of it is magenta. I definitely love the way this came out and the only thing left to do is make some more. Now this transfer came out great. Unfortunately, it looks like she doesn't have any clothes on, so I just took it as an opportunity to add more elements.
Now for this last piece, I really wanted to add a stamp that had text on it. And if I added the stamp to the mono printing plate, the text would have come out backwards. So I simply added the stamp at the end. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. And I hope you make your own collages, mono prints, whatever you want to call them, and have fun. For more gel press ideas, be sure to stop by gelpress.com. Thanks for watching.